Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to my podcast. I have John Keane here uh, as my guest. Good morning. Good morning, you, John. <laughs> What's happening today? Oh, just, you know, um, I looking forward to chatting with you about your journey in real estate and what your plans are. Cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. So. Awesome. Well, let's let's get the party started. Um, so, yeah, John, so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself before um, before joining Sub2 and what led you to that and what it's done for you? Sure. Well, in my previous life, I was in the car business for 30 years. Um, so that's pretty much most of my adult life. <laughs> um before I was in the car business, I actually uh, owned a gas station convenience store. And I did that. Uh, I bought that when I was 23. Wow. And, yeah. And kept that for seven years till I turned 30. And then I got in, sold that and get into the car business. And I've been in it ever since. And at about year 25 in the car business, I had had enough and didn't want to do it anymore and did it for five more years. And then in November of just last year, 22, joined Sub2 and got out of the car business. And that's now going to be coming up, well, it's only September, but close to a year of doing Sub2. And then went to the mastermind in May of this year. And it's been a great journey. It's been awesome. Wow. So that, yeah. Yeah. Would you say that? Um, so, so when you left your, did you start up to and kind of, um, you know, gave it a few months to see how you were going to leave your W2 or you joined and boom, you left your, your W2. Yeah. I didn't really have a W2 cause I was so, oh. but yeah. yeah, no, I went boom. Okay. So I just, you sold, uh, sold your joined. business. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, obviously, like everyone struggled in the beginning, trying to find your way and figure it out. And like I told you, I think it was a few weeks ago now, what really, really changed everything for us was the masterminds. I mean, it just changed everything. We were probably like you are and like most <laughs> sub two kind of all over the place and not sure which direction to go and how to get there and how to be, you know, detailed, how to get leads, how to close deals. And if you try to do it all by yourself, it's pretty much impossible. I mean, not impossible, yeah. but just about impossible. If you really want to scale it and build a business. Right. Um, so the mastermind literally changed everything for us. And we came back and got Jonah, Jill's son, to be our innovator and Jill to be Dispo. And she's also running all of our Airbnbs. She runs those. And I'm the closer. And awesome. it's worked out amazing. This in the month of August, we did 14 deals. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Closed. Closed deals. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that uh, we have two that are closing. Actually, one's supposed to close tomorrow and another one. Uh, so technically, I guess those would be September deals. So an escrow. Yeah. Yep. No, I mean, that's amazing. I mean, and that's just the beginning, right? I mean, because when... Oh, it's, it's definitely just the beginning. Morgan told me right. this morning, he sent me... A, the, the guy doesn't sleep. Um, <laughs> he sent me a text this morning that he's going to do 10 deals this month himself. So... That's his goal for this month. That's his goal for this month. Yep. So. Oh wow! So maybe Morgan and Morgan and uh, and me can have a little competition. Yeah, you that can would have be a that would be fun. Yeah. No, that he's as you know, he's very good at what he does. Yeah, I I I I I really like him. I like how straight to the point he is, and um, he's very. He's got this his little system, and it's awesome that he he certainly is good at multitasking. He's you know working and getting all those calls in, so that's pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, so um, what are your what are your short term goals? Um, where do you want where do you want to be in the next year or two? Obviously, do a lot of the wholesale deals and build up our STR portfolio. 
to as many as possible. Um, we just closed on one, I don't know, a week and a half ago. In Tennessee, that's our first sub two deal that we're keeping. And okay. we closed we closed on that, learned a shitload about um how to do the insurance the right way. And oh uh, yeah, that's definitely Pace has a guy, Jill put a shout out for him, I think, last night. Mm -hmm. And I would suggest that everyone uses him on a sub two deal because he's as someone said, he's the Tom Brady of sub two insurance. Oh, really? So he's yeah. an insurance broker? He did, he. Yep. Okay, perfect. So yeah, and he knows exactly. I mean, we had him do it. Yeah, we had him on the phone. He literally wrote the policy and emailed it to the bank. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it was pretty good. Because we got a cancellation notice from his from the owner's insurance company. Right. And that can uh that can that go to can the bank. Yes. With... Yep. Get the dual so, sale clause right, but yeah. we got it all straightened out. Wow, and so, that's yeah. that's awesome. So then, future sub two deals, you'll, you'll yeah, we're gonna take be... we're gonna every, every we're gonna move all of our business to him with all our properties. So he won. <laughs> and, and and what is he? Pro he's providing home insurance essentially, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Awesome. Yep. And he does homes. nationwide. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I believe he does all fifty states. Wow. Okay. I'll have to, I'll have to get his information. Um, so what is your long-term long, well, for your business right now, mm -hmm. I know you want to acquire as many short-term rentals as possible, but for your business now, mm -hmm. since it's, it's in its infancy and it's doing amazing. Um, what do you want to do for your business in the next year or two do you are you going to keep it this way do you have any plans for the no future no no we need, we, we need to grow our next step is to form a separate division to do just wraps that's like oh, that number one yeah that's number one priority for us right now and we're really looking at we're going to have to hire some people um actually jill and jonah just interviewed you haven't met john yet maybe you met him on a zoom i don't know uh but just interviewed his wife to maybe join the team and help with dispo. She doesn't want to do calling or anything because she has a full-time W-2. But yeah, our, our goals for the next year are literally we need to hire some people because we are, the three of us are completely maxed out on time. I mean. I'm sure, yeah. I was up I was up yesterday at 3.30 in the morning doing uh, LOIs and follow-up emails. I, I can't keep up. Literally right. can't keep up. So, you know, when you got 11 or 12 people making calls. Right. And, they all need LOIs and then all those LOIs need follow-up. It becomes very overwhelming. So right. we're actually looking at, um, I mean, we have a couple of VAs now that um, scrape data for us and pull the data. And then now we're going to, Joan is working with some VAs and giving them actual scripts and everything else so they can log into my email mm -hmm. and do some of the follow-up. Yeah, I think I th I think that takes a lot a, a lot of time. Um definitely, yeah, especially if you have 20, 30, you know. Um and if you can't get a hold of them then they call you back and you're in the middle of something else and Oh yeah, yeah I'm doing be... I'm probably doing I don't even know how many emails every day. And like I say every day it grows. Cuz you'll mm -hmm. see when you see Jonah's board that he makes for you, um mm -hmm. You'll see when when a email is due for follow up, it goes into a certain column and it's highlighted in either red or yellow, saying it's due. So right. I click on every single one of those every day to do the follow up. So, <laughs> and as you've right. learned from Pace, everything in this is about the follow up. Like it's yeah. all about the follow up. So yeah, I think that's, yeah, but really, that, important. that's really what our short term, long term goals for the next year, year and a half is to grow the business and we're going to have to hire people to do that. It's just to scale no other... up. Yeah, that makes sense. And we've sold a lot of our deals to like we've sold probably four deals to the same investor and he's just doing wraps with them and we're like, "Okay, well, what are we doing? We're, we're missing out here." Right, right. Wow, that's amazing. He doesn't have to go out looking for them. He just buys them from you and then wraps them. That's Yeah, exactly. Right. And he makes his money back on his on the down payments. Right. So, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've got yeah, and... really good interest rates 
So right. And is he do he's doing this um in Florida or several states? No, two of them were in Texas. Actually, three of them, I think, were in Texas and one was in Florida. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think reps are I, I think reps are amazing too. Um, how about um long-term goal? Do you plan on at some point just I'm sure everyone that's what everyone's uh, goal is. Um, but if you're anything like pace, uh, you probably can't be hands off, right? <laughs> no. Or hands off of this and then maybe off to doing something else or. Yeah, I would like to eventually, um, you know, scale it back and just kind of watch over everything as it grows and works and <clears throat> hire the right people. And, you know, Joan is young. He's only 24. So, you know, oh, yeah. maybe in five years he can uh, take the helm and watch over and run everything and I can travel the world. <laughs> yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah, that that would be great. I think that's that's one of our that's one of our goals. Well, you're a lot younger than me, too. Well, I'm turning 40. I I'm freaking out a little bit. Let me tell you, I'm turning 40 next next month. <laughs> well, I turned 60 in April. It's not a big deal. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. After I, after I hit 30, I started now I wish I was 30, right? When I turned 30, I'm like, no, what am I going to do? And <laughs> now I'm turning 40 and I wish I was 30, but I guess, I guess you get to a point where you realize, Circle you, of realize life. you realize it ain't going to, you know, time, the clock's not stopping. And, um, but then I, but then again, all the knowledge you gain, right? Oh Yeah. Right. You know, that, you gain that, a lot of knowledge it's priceless. And, and yeah, and that's why, you know, by the time you're my age, you realize that it do, age is only a number. And as long as you, your family and your loved ones are all healthy, that's what matters in life. Right. That's Absolutely. all that matters. And then you're Nothing surrounded else. by the by yeah. good good friends and, and your family. Nothing Absolutely. else matters. Yeah, absolutely. So you're um, coming coming back to the mastermind, right? In yep. in October, what are you going to be doing there? Are you going to be teaching some? Yeah, Pace said he's going to have Jill and I teach a class. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> the day before. <laughs> yeah, I think there's only 30 people going. Really? I think so. I saw when I saw the list. Hmm. When you get a minute, check your email. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I will. <laughs> Yeah, all right, John. Um, well, oh, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say your your life is going to be changed after you go to Arizona. Believe me when I tell you. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm glad I listened to you. I I was I was scared of pulling, you know, doing it, but well, it's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. But... Well, I I was worried that that I wasn't prepared and. <sighs> you know, I'm going to show up and I'm going to be clueless and I'm just going to waste my money. But you made a good point, you know, and everyone else I've talked to has said, you know, um, if you go, if you give it another year, you're going to regret not going earlier. <laughs> so well, he's saying that this is his last one. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's he, he said it again when I saw him a couple of weeks ago, he said, this is it last in person i assume right because he can't well, you, you have to offer some type of advanced you know yeah um, maybe he'll have somebody else do it going forward i don't mm -hmm. know but um i mean he's yeah. crazy busy that guy's all over the country seven days yeah. a week he's nuts but yeah yeah anyway whether it's his last one or not it's still going to be very beneficial for you um, know it'll be my second one and your first but it'll be well right. worth it I'm glad I'm I'm glad I did it. Thank you for thank you for pushing me or suggesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, but well, John, thank you so much for taking the time to jump on this interview with us. And I hope that we can or that that, that you can um inspire others to just just jump on it and do it and just go out and make a mess like like Pace suggests, right? Yeah, that's it. Every day. <laughs> Awesome. Every Thank day. you so much. Alrighty, John. Have a good one. All right. You too.